No, I'm not an engineer, but um, I'm turning into one. Oh, this is so sad. Try it out for yourself and then keep watching the video for the solution. A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to video. From time to time I like to cover um, very easy geometry puzzles here on this channel. Most of the geometry puzzles I find over on Katriona Ark's Twitter profile. She's posting them basically daily or something. New ones and this one sparked my interest because it's nice, easy, quick and yeah, I don't know, just a lot of fun to solve through those. And we are going to solve it without any kind of analytic geometry, just very easy stuff and metrics. Let me explain the problem really quick and then you can try it out for yourself. So what we have is four connected squares. All of those are squares and we want to find the combined area of those two squares, like the bigger square and a smaller square and then we also have um, one line being connected by the intersection of those two squares with um, basically the intersection of those two squares here in the corner and yeah this one has a signed length of two and now we can dive right in try it out for yourself and then keep watching the video for the solution yeah so um, it's basically pretty easy like mentioned before um, you can check out your twitter profile too it's down there in the description so at first i want you guys to notice that we are dealing with squares here meaning since this right here is also a square, the angle in this corner is going to be 90 degrees. Meaning, this right here is just going to be a right triangle and in right triangles, given a, a hypotenuse for example, we can use power pi factors all the time. And now we are going to give those two, two side lengths a new name. Let's just call this side length t and this one right here x. Once again, those are all squares, meaning this side length is also x, this side length is also x, and this one, and this one, blah, blah, blah. This is going to be important in just a minute. So at first, Papa Pythagoras tells us in this right triangle that 2 squared, which is nothing other than 4, is thus equal to x squared plus t squared. Okay, good. This right here is our first equation. And now we can go ahead and start computing our areas. Because areas on rectangles and squares in general are very easy to compute. Namely, it's just the side length of this one times the same side length. But what is the side length of the bigger um, area of the bigger square that we have right here? I mean, this is just x plus t. Okay, same thing down here. The side length here is nothing other than x plus t. Leaving us overall with the first area, area 1, being equal to x plus t squared. Now x plus t squared is just a simple binomial in x and t, meaning this is going to result in x squared plus t squared plus 2xt. And other than that, we also have this small square up here. Now to compute the area, so area 2 of the small square, we are going to go by the same means. I want you guys to notice that the area of the small square, or just one simple side length here, is nothing other than, okay, one whole side length is going to be x, but we are going to take t away to get this side length of the square right here. Meaning x minus t is one side length of the square, so overall x minus t squared is going to give us the area of um, this smaller square. Now using the binomial theorem yet again leaves us with x squared plus t squared minus 2xt. And now everything is going to unfold nicely because the total area of those two squares is just going to be a1 plus a2. And if we add those two together, this is why I've written everything um, under another, um, those are going to add up to 2 times the quantity x squared, 2 times t squared, and those two are additive inverses to each other, going to cancel out, meaning overall we are going to get 2 times x squared plus t squared. Now the cool thing is, Papa Pythagoras told us that x squared plus t squared is nothing other than 4, meaning the total area and um, total area we are going to denote it by um, this cool boy, oh, double area, <laughs> total area. Oh. This looks like a weird currency. <laughs> this is a very nice new symbol I, I introduced here. It's going to be 2 times 4 and this is just a successor of 7, namely 8. And hence we are done. I think that's watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, recommend, channel of like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy the stitches I created. Text about thermal. That's a little um, statistical mechanics meme. Or support the channel on Patreon. And up until the next video, I wish you guys um, a... I haven't done this in a while. Um, I'm wishing you guys a ball bearing day. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> no, I'm not an engineer, but um, I'm turning into one. Oh, this is so sad.